Hello everybody, this is Jacob Lawler here with another video on how to choose a farm and or market area. Uh, here to talk about how to find out your area's average price point. Uh, so if you can recall in the previous videos, we actually mapped out a market area that we were planning on working. This is the market area that we had selected for the case of informational purposes. Um, again, not saying this is a great place to work or horrible place to work in this individual market, just using this as an example. Uh, but I want to talk about how you can actually choose what are, or how to find out what are the average prices and what are the average price per square foot, because that's usually what consumers are looking for. Um, so the first thing you want to know is you really can't just go overall, what's the average price uh, of the neighborhood? I mean, you can, um, and let's actually just do that for illustration purposes. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of these properties here, and we're going to actually go into to the print function and when we choose print we're going to choose uh, one of my favorite printouts which is the quick CMA so we're going to say quick uh, quick CMA print to PDF and what's going to pop up here is a usually one or two page printout of all of the sales that we had chosen uh, all 26 of them and this is going to show you what the maximum the minimum the average and the median uh, prices square footage and all of that and you can tell and see that there's obviously some huge discrepancies here in the difference of <laughs> square footage. So the maximum square footage is almost 7,000 square feet, and this is again interior bu building square footage, and the smallest is 1,617 uh, square feet. So again, this is gonna give us a huge difference in range. The highest price that sold was 2 million, the lowest price that sold was seven, just a little bit under 700,000 and 695. Uh, so in this farm as a whole, the whole farm average uh, average sales price is seven hundred, uh, sorry, nine hundred and seventy one thousand five hundred and seventy seven, and the median is eight hundred and forty nine thousand five hundred. Now, I've gotten questions on the difference between average and median. Uh, average literally just means let's add up all of these prices here and then divide them by the number, which would be 26, that's gonna give you the average. The median, on the other hand, is gonna be counting in basically the middle. So it's gonna be counting in basically 13 from the bottom, 13 from the top, and whatever the, the middle is is going to give you this number here now because it's an even number it's going to be between these two so the one above it is 840 the one below it is 859 so the middle of that would be 849 hence us having a middle or median range of 849 so again the whole farm as a whole would be 849 but what we're going to do is try to get a little bit more accurate of a number than that uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to results to get an idea of okay what ranges are there and it looks like the majority of these uh, sales are three to four bedrooms. So what I would personally recommend doing at a minimum would be to separate the criteria into three bedroom versus four bedroom. So let's say, let's show the average three bedroom uh, sale in this neighborhood here. Let's go to results and we're gonna select all, go back to our print and go to quick CMA and go into print PDF. So if somebody walks into an open house or you're talking to neighbors on the street and they say, hey, what are properties going for around here? You can let them know that if your property is a three bedroom, the highest that is sold over the last year was just about 860 and the lowest that is sold is just about 700,000. So somewhere between 700,000 and 860,000. That's a pretty wide range because again, we can go from 2,000 square feet down to 1,600. You can shorten this range to kind of get a little bit more accurate, but of course, upgrades, condition, location within that neighborhood is going to play a big role. Um, but again, what what a property selling for? The average three bedroom property is selling for about seven ninety, and the median range is about 780. And as you get closer, these two numbers should be getting closer together. The mid the mid range and the average should be around there. So basically the price point for this neighborhood for a three bedroom, somewhere around 780 to 790 is a pretty accurate range for the average condition home that have sold around here. Not the Taj Mahal beautiful, not the tear down property, but the average condition sale. So again, 790 about for that. So now let's check to see See what are the four bedroom. So we're going to go back to the results. We're going to go to criteria and we're going to check four bedroom. So we're going to go back to results. We're going to do the same thing. 
selecting all of the properties or you can check this box here it'll select all of them here now you have to be careful if you do that because let's say that there were 26 results or there were 58 results and this property is showing 50 at a page it will only select all of them that are on that current page so if you have multiple pages make sure to select the all going to print again going to quick CMA print a PDF and let's th see what the average four bedroom in this neighborhood is selling for. Now this is a pretty darn big range in here because you can see that there is one property that sold as low as 725, but went all the way up to 1.35. So again, this is gonna have a pretty big range in here just because there's gonna be, a, there apparently were some big differences in condition and location it looks like. Um, and again, the square footage in here went all the way up to 3,300 square feet and down to 1,700. So you may want to put a cap on this to say, you know, maybe section these four bedrooms off into two categories, ones that are under 2,500 square feet, some that are over 2,500 square feet, just to kind of keep a cap in there. Um, but according to this, the average property that sold was 955 and the median property sold for 899 so about a fifty thousand uh, dollar difference in there so if someone comes in and says hey you know my property is a four bedroom what are four bedrooms usually selling in here you can let them know hey the mid-range uh, and the median or average in this neighborhood is somewhere between 900 to 950 but it really depends upon your location your upgrades and everything like that so I hope that was giving you a good idea a quick tip on how to find the average price and you can do the same thing with price per square foot um, because a lot of people love those neighborhoods in here all you have to do is look on the one uh, column over hope that was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below and i'd be happy to get to as many as i can uh, but if you have any questions love to help you out other than that look forward to seeing you on the next video